All right, hey, what's going on, guys? Hope you're all doing well out there, finding some good treasure yourself. Uh, I got a pretty good video in store for you here, hopefully, anyway. Got this little envelope here from Wells Fargo, and I uh, guess you already know by the title. We got three thousand dollars in hundred dollar bills, and uh, gonna have ourselves a little hunt. Put the envelope over here, and let's take a look at these and see what we have. Um, I might as well tell you what we're looking for in case you don't know. Um, this is the serial number right here. It's got it in two places, and. Uh, there's certain things called like fancy serial numbers where um, maybe you'll find one that's a, a ladder and it'll say uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, be a half ladder. Or if you get uh, yeah, like uh, radars, repeaters, um, binaries where it's like two numbers make up the entire serial number, trinaries, it'd be 3, 7, and 8, you know, would be the only three numbers in here. Um, star notes are very cool. I like to find those. Get a little green star at the end of the serial note or serial number on the note. Um, and then obviously, if we find anything really old, that's going to be a real uh, bonus. So this one you can see here in this little bit in the corner, series 2009A, serial number three seven seven eight one zero four three nothing special um, I like to always turn it over on the back too and just kind of get a visual sometimes um, they're called misaligned errors it's like a, a shift in the printing um, where you'll see the borders it will be way off so that could be the front or the reverse but uh, and then you also kind of look for these seals if they're really off center sometimes some of the uh, numbers in the serial number will be raised or or drop down real low. Let's put that to the side. That's not a keeper. Um, series 2009A again. 05362355. Nothing special there. Okay, here's a little bit older of a note. You can you can tell the difference already in how they look. This is a uh, 2006A. So three years prior, and uh, three one one seven eight two nine nine. Nothing that great. Kind of dirty too here on the lower area. Um, all things you want to consider if you're collecting for resale or just collecting for your for yourself. Here's another two thousand six A. Four six two zero three six nine five. Not worth much. Um, looks good. Okay, here we drop down a little bit farther. It's at a 10 year gap here, 1996. And it looks like it's got some writing up here. Somebody wrote their balance, probably usually what happens. Uh, you know, people count their money and then write it on the top bill. Um, but that's also something cool we look for. Uh, sometimes you'll find stamps, uh, interesting notes. I don't know, that's kind of cool to come across that. Um, 72863172. So this one's not worth keeping, but it's a good example of what's called um, bookends. If you notice, it starts with the uh, 72 and ends with 72. And so if we just had something better in the middle, that might be that might be a keeper. Like let's say we had all zeros or all of any number in the middle, that'd make it uh, you know trinary with the seven two and another number. Unless it was a, if it was seven and twos, that'd be a binary. True binaries, uh, I guess, are zeros and ones. Or one. Okay, here series two thousand and one. One zero zero seven seven six four five. Almost had um, a mini ladder here at the end if it went seven six five four, but the four and the five are switched. Um, there's also things called birth year notes. Well, you, you'll have the birth year. Let's say it said like uh, 1982. If it had all zeros after that, that'd be amazing. Um, sometimes it'll say like 1982. 
0401, you know, so April Fools, April 1st. Nothing on the back. Here's another, uh, no, that, okay, our second 1996 right here. That last one was a 2001. Let's see, this one's kind of cool already. It's got the double A's and then it, the A at the end there too. And 58224023. Nothing, nothing good in that serial number though. Not worth keeping. Back is nothing special either. Here's a series 2006. Um, here's a good example here. Oh, this one might not be too bad. Um, right, off, right off the bat, you notice zero 1939. So there's your, there's a birth year technically. Um, but if we stand back and look at it, zero one nine, and then in the last three, one nine zero. So that's kind of a flip, right? And so zero one nine three nine one nine zero. Um. 019 Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking it's not a keeper. It looks it looks pretty good at first. Um 019 and then the 190 and you got 39 in the middle. If those were doubles, if the 39 was say a 33 or 55, anything like that, you'd have like 0195519090. I I probably would have kept that one. Um I don't know, I'll, I'll hold off on that and look at it when I'm all done. See what I think at that time. Here's a uh, 1996. 9002734. I don't see anything with that one. That'll go back to the bank. Series 2003A. 37875942. No. I, I I've seen some serial numbers they look cool when it's it'll say like three seven four seven five seven six seven. That that's kinda neat. But not on this one. Oh here's a little uh you see a stamp of a purple star here. That's why I always like to look on the back too. You never know what's what's gonna be there. Series two thousand and three A one six three four zero one seven nine nothing worth keeping but I can show you if you look at that nine at the end there it's dropped just a little bit and normally I see it only um, on one serial number a lot of the times but this one if I can get it in the camera you can see up here in the upper left that nine is also dropped a little bit just barely on this one not worth keeping for that but uh, just kind of notice that when you're searching. That'll go back. Here's a, a 2009A series. Three four. Let's get it closer here. Three four three four five four two two. So wow, you know that really could have been something too. You have three four three four. It's always cool. Maybe your last four could be doubles, but they're not on this one. Five four. If it went two four, we might have thought about that. Um, three four three four five four two two. Yeah, it's really nothing. Could have been. And the reverse. Not that great. Series two thousand and nine A. Three five four two one zero six three. No. It does kind of look like this three at the end is dropped a little bit. You can notice that. And this one, I don't know, maybe they're both the same. Didn't look like it. Alright, so somebody wrote 39 on it in a pen over there. That's series 2009A, 61393299. Nothing. It's got a lot of folds in it too. It's been creased lengthwise. Three. That way. This is a series 2009A. 8448 It might have been something if it uh, ended 0770. 
that would have been kind of cool. But 8, and then 44 and 8, 0, 77, 1. Yeah, no, not going to keep it. But, uh, gosh, it sure makes you feel like you're getting close to something really good. 2009A, 1, 2, 7, 5, 6, 3, 1, 7. No, I don't see anything. I don't see anything worth keeping in that. Flip it over here. 2006. So I think our oldest one is a 2001 so far. This is 39107686. No big deal. All right. 2009A series 74884975. I, I sometimes I've seen some neat serial numbers where uh, like see it starts 74 and ends in 75 if you can get them filled in the middle with like the same number that would probably be a keeper series 2009 a 6622 all right now this is the one that it <laughs> these are the ones that hurt when you see them because it's it's so close to being something so awesome. We got 66, 22, and that silly 47, and we got that 66 again. Now, if we were just a few notes, three notes prior to this one, and it was it would have been 6, 2, 6, 6 2, 2, 4, 4, 6, 6, That would have been that would have been a keeper in my mind. Uh, if it had 66, 22, 22, 66, I mean that's amazing. Though that note's out there somewhere, more than likely. Um, just kind of why we do it, but yeah, man, that is, that's really cool. 66 bookends, it gets 22, and then the, that 47, man, we are so close. But you know when you're hunting, uh, searching through $100 notes, they've got to be pretty good to uh, hang on to them, you know, it's a lot of money. This is a series 2009A, 2423-0401. So I, I like the 2423, but uh, yeah, the 0401 don't really help us out. All right, nothing on the back. 2009A, 2561-0228. Doesn't look very good to me. Another 2009A, 6393-5688. Mm -mm, no. Nothing. 2009A series again, 2641-5647. No, sometimes they're cool if they'll, if they'll start off like 2468. Just depends on the the lineup of the other four. Another 2009A. We got 10649159. Nothing, man. We are not finding anything in these hundreds yet. 20811746. Nothing, and that's in 2009A. Seems like the majority of them are 2009As. 18380496. Yeah. 2009A series 72938890. Nothing that I see. It's somewhat of a little stamp going on here. Let me know if, if uh, you guys think I missed anything or if you see something I didn't. This one, 2009A 94670155. Nope. Alright, this one, was that say? Looks like it says Dill. <laughs> Maybe somebody's uh, grocery list. 2009 A-Series 88733127. So, it was potential there with the 88733. If it went 88733788, now we're talking. But, uh, no, and this, look at that, some weird kind of stain. Coffee stain or something. And our last note, series 2009A, 
nothing on the back. So not a uh, not a fancy serial number, but uh, you could see the potential. the The last four two nine two nine. I would have been a keeper. Let's say if it had four eights in the front, maybe that might be something. It'd be a trinary if you had four eights and the two and the nine. That'd be three digits only. But anyways, yeah, that's about it. Uh, sorry we didn't find anything, but uh, the cool thing is the name of the game is we didn't lose anything. So we'll get to go back, we'll turn these in, and uh, let's go get 3,000 bucks and 50s, and uh, we don't find too many really cool notes, maybe we'll work our way down. We'll go 50s, 20s, 10s, 5s, and of course, you know we're going to get that $1 bill. It's going to be some really, really awesome singles, I can just imagine, and hunting through 3,000 at once. So appreciate you guys watching. I got another video where I hunted through, I think it was 6,000. Check it out and uh, I don't know, give it a try. See what you guys can find. If you don't find anything, you didn't lose a cent. Pretty dang cool, man. Alright, thanks guys.